Hey everyone, the Beard Zeno here. I think this is actually the first time I'm showing my shaved bald head on camera, but anyways, uh, we're going to be doing an unboxing of Disney Infinity 3.0. Remember this time last year I did an unboxing for 2.0 with all the figures like uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, Captain America, you know those things, but um, I ended up selling those like a month after I got them because I ended up being disappointed overall with 2.0 the play sets in them just weren't up to the standard of the first one was. I love the first Disney Infinity. It was amazing but just the way they treated Marvel did not sit well with me at all and especially they didn't have any of the voice actors or anything like that. They used the cartoon voice actors and getting, they didn't even get sound alikes so it just it just didn't sit well with me however this is basically just a, a Clone Wars game, pretty much. And I like Clone Wars. Who doesn't love Clone Wars? And, of course, they do have the, um... Uh, Rise Against the Empire set coming out. Uh, if you got the PlayStation 4 Collector's Edition, you got that, which... I'm not sure how I feel about timed, exclusive, physical DLC. I mean, all this stuff's already on the disc as it is, and you're gonna... Limit stuff to yeah, ah, it's stupid. Anyways, this is what the back of the box looks like. I'm gonna pause and read it. It's probably too small, I don't know, but here's just a preview of some of the other stuff that they have, some playsets, some figures. This is nowhere near all of it at all. But I will say one really cool change is they put the power discs in a pack now. They don't do line bags anymore. Thank god. That was one of the most stressful parts, and I just didn't get that many uh, power discs at all because of that. I only bought like four blind bags between one and two, so yeah, that should, that should tell you something. But yeah, um, yeah, go ahead and get this open. Uh, from what I've seen, the gameplay is what sold me on it. It just, it looks like... It looks more like the treatment that Disney Infinity 1.0 gave those films, which I loved, which was uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Monsters University, and uh, The Incredibles. The Incredibles set was, I think, the weakest out of all those, but, okay. The Pirates set was just amazing. The Pirates set was, oh, beautiful. Alright, um, okay, there we go. What should we do first? Should we do the game or the figures? Uh, we'll save the figures for last because we got an extra, I had to get Obi-Wan Kenobi. He is my second favorite Star Wars character. He's my favorite human character because Chewbacca is my favorite. He doesn't come out for another month, so that sucks, but we'll save the figures for last and... Here's the game. Ooh, it's pretty heavy. Just a very generic case. And we have the... I'm just going to pull this out. There we go. We have the base. I wanted to say portal, but that's Skylanders. Uh, I'll never go buy another Skylanders. That uh, Swap Force was just... That was just a big one. Okay. Well, there's like a slot in here for something. I don't know what that was for, but yeah, whatever. Uh, wow, this is already four minutes. Uh, I will say that I'm going to review each one of these figures as an actual collectible too. And also, in the review, I might also uh, show some gameplay of the figures like, inside the actual game. But I want to review them as collectibles because, in essence, they're kind of similar to Funko Pops, where they're just this static little vinyl thing. Except for these do have in-game capabilities, but still, it's it's a collectible nonetheless, and I think they're pretty cool and worth reviewing on their own. Here's the base. In case you've never seen one, just this weird hex tetrahedron or hexagonal thing in my jigger. Thankfully, there's no cracks in my clear part right here, like I had on 2.0. Thank God. Uh, here's the game. Whoa! That'd be a crack if I keep doing that. And my wire is just like severely bent. 
That's not good. <laughs> Turn towards the camera a little bit. Uh. Ooh, did I just scratch the disc? That would be bad. Alright. Yeah. New game smell. Love it. Alright. There's just a pile of stuff. Ah. Alright, here's the game disc. Very generic. <laughs> Very generic. We don't care about this stuff though, we care about the actual game and the figures. There's the instruction manual. Oh, it's like four pages in seven different languages. It's not even, not even worth mentioning. And they still put Xbox One manuals in backwards, so yay. Alright, moving on to the figures. I don't need this anymore. First off, we'll just get the base out of uh, the playset. Here's the playset. It's two lightsabers and a Republic symbol. See a Republic symbol? Two lightsabers in the back. That's really cool. I like the design of that. It's not as cool as some of them have been, like the, the one that comes with the uh, the Empire one. It's the Death Star, and that's just amazing. <laughs> uh, we'll get Ahsoka out first. Phew, she's kind of squishy. Yeah. Okay. Paint looks really good. Here's the figure. I'm gonna put some backlight on this our background. There we go. That looks great. Like I said, I will do a, a figure review on each one of these. It looks very much like Ahsoka from Clone Wars. Oh, jeez. His cape got stuck in the plastic. And here is Anakin. That looks great. I love these lightsabers. These lightsabers look great. They are going to have some that uh, are going to light up. So that's pretty cool. So it's like the light, uh, the light core figures from Skylanders. Uh, okay, no hidden secrets. That is just a blank piece of cardboard. And this is your code for the apparently PC and mobile stuff for this. I almost turned around and showed you my code. Uh, and last but not least, we got Obi Wan Kenobi. Here's his packaging. Uh, there we go. He just slides on down to here. Ugh, I hate getting these things out. Ooh, he's significantly more heavy. But, he's heavy, man. There is Obi-Wan Kenobi. I love his stance. I love that, that lightsaber. That lightsaber just looks amazing. This looks awesome. I like this. And, of course, he does come with a card as well, with the code on the back, so. There we go. And some instructions in case you're a baby. So yeah, that's um, that's it for the unboxing. So just so you know, the other stuff that you're gonna have that works with the Twilight of the Republic set is Yoda. Yoda, not oh, yeah, Yoda. All right, some people call him Yoder, and some people call Boba Fett Boba Fett. So anyways, I've been the Beers. Thank you for clicking for today. Tell me any questions or concerns. Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next video.